Hey, it's Brett with Complete Trailers. We're showing you an ATC CH305 that is unlike anything else on the market that you see out there. And the reason for that is we built it for our stock inventory. Instead of going with the popular 24 or 28 foot length, we chose a 26 foot. So just a little bit longer than a 24. Empty trailer weighs in at 3,900 pounds, so it's still half ton towable. And we were still able to add a generator compartment while providing enough length in the rear. But the other differences are some of the other items that we put on this trailer, mainly the blackout trim package on a white trailer. You've seen our SEMA stacker that we built over and over again with the whiteout package. We decided to do something different this year for a standard car hauler and go with a white trailer with the blackout package. Now we chose the CH305 package from ATC as the foundation because that is by far and away the most popular package trailer that we sell through them. The blackout and some of the other features are just additional options that we've added on because of the research that we've done, of the customer interaction that we've had, and we feel that these are the options that are going to be most popular from a resale standpoint. Not to mention we think it's really cool and we enjoy doing that. Blackout trim package covers up the tongue as well as the stone guard and the front verticals, top wrap and also these stainless steel cast corners. Uh, the plug that's in the front of the trailer is a 50 amp motor base plug and that's what powers the inside of the trailer. So we give you a cord, you plug in one side to that receptacle there and you can either run the cord into the generator compartment or to a different power source like shore power and that's what's going to power your 12 volt system and 110 system on the inside. Now on a CH305, a generator compartment is not standard. It's never standard on a 24 foot we always stock it on a 28 foot. In fact, that's what ATC typically does. So since we went to a 26 foot length, we decided to put a gen compartment on here. Now, one additional option that you can ask for if you built your own trailer with us is we can do a generator prep kit on the inside. Now, this is just a simple compartment on the inside. It's vented and uh, there's an aluminum hold back that holds the door back. But if there's a generator prep kit on the inside, there's a junction box and you can just simply plug right into your trailer. Now, of course, the CH305 comes with the perimeter skirting package with the spread axle design. The perimeter skirting package does provide some function. Some of it's aesthetic, some of it's function. So the aesthetic part is the drop down kick downs around the tires. You see most other companies now ripping this idea off and using it on their own. Some of the lower end, real low end trailers are trying to rip off this idea. What they don't have down is the reverse beaver tail in the rear of the trailer. Now that's where the rear of the trailer actually kicks up and that keeps the rear end from dragging. But on the inside of the trailer, the, the rear forefoot of the trailer slopes down, what's called the reverse beaver tail. It kicks up in the rear on the outside, slopes down on the inside to make it easier to load and unload your car. Now the tires were upgraded from a 15 inch to a 16 inch. We like the 16 inch tire upgrade because it fills out the fender well nicely. Uh, it also provides for a better ply of tire as well. We were able to still keep a six bolt, but we can upgrade to an eight bolt uh, wheel if you prefer. ATC was one of the first companies to develop what we call the premium escape door. Now we've been doing this option for years, and the reason that it's important is because of this. The old style escape door is cut above the wheel well on the inside of the trailer. And when you pull a vehicle inside of an enclosed trailer, you have one of two choices. Either you winch the trailer in, or you get out of the trailer through the door, Dukes of Hazard style. With the premium escape door, the whole side of the trailer simply lifts up. It's propped up by two gas shocks. And the aluminum fender well on the inside simply lifts out. Now, when you pull your vehicle in, there's a built-in step down low. You just simply open up your car door and step out through the step there. Now, in the rear of the trailer, we've got some skid plates along with some bogey wheels that are underneath the trailer. Those are simply steel rollers that are mounted underneath to also help protect your rear end from dragging when you go in and out of a gas station. The stainless steel paddle latches, of course, have been blacked out along with our blackout package and the spoiler that's up above the ramp door with the loading lights built into it. It's something we've also been doing for years. and It's one of the most popular accessories we can put on a trailer. It's not standard on a 305, but we put it on as an additional option. Now with the ramp door down, it's a dual spring assisted ramp door. We've got coin rubber flooring as well as a gapless continuous hinge. That hinge cover protects the hinge from dirt and debris from dropping down into it. Now, the coin rubber needs to bond to something, and the best thing to bond that to with glue is standard plywood. Standard plywood is porous. But what does that mean for underneath the trailer? You don't want exposed plywood underneath the trailer that's 
exposed to uh, dirt and debris and oxidation and moisture and all these other things. So the underneath of the plywood is actually covered with this material. This is what it looks like underneath. Uh, so you've got glue that bonds the rubber coin flooring, this extended flap here. Now we do have different flap sizes available. If you have a really low profile vehicle, ask your sales associate to help you in selecting the correct uh, ramp extension for you. On the curb side of the trailer, we've got our standard RV side door as well as an aluminum slide out step underneath. There's a receptacle for 110 volt power. Once you plug into your power source, that will charge or power that receptacle on the outside. There are two 12 volt LED lights that are mounted up on the side of the trailer for nighttime. Now there's a runoff of a battery that we'll talk about in just a moment. The exterior skin of the trailer, of course, is screwless aluminum. We went with a 30,000 skin here. We can get away with that on a white trailer. The darker you go, the thicker you are going to want to go with your skin. And by doing that, you're gonna prevent the wavy look that you see in a lot of other lower end trailers out there. White, you're okay with 30 thousandths. Really anything above that, gray, black especially, you're gonna to wanna to go to a thicker skin. Now on the inside of the CH305 trailer, you're gonna see all of the features that we see on other 305, the aluminum interior, walls and ceiling, recessed LED lighting, black coin rubber flooring we already discussed, receptacles throughout, and aluminum cabinetry. Now what we did a little bit different is we did a two-tone base and overhead cabinet package just to kind of keep with the theme of the white with a blackout trailer. Uh, you can change the color of the walls and the ceiling. We chose white again for that same theme. We can also insulate the walls and ceiling as well. Now we've got four D-rings in the floor, two in the front, two in the back. The reason we don't typically stock E-Track recessed into the floor is because it's really hard to know how wide we need to be on that track system. Typically, and we're big fans of the over-the-wheel strap method, typically you need that strap to be directly on top of E-Track, so your tire needs to be on top of that. So if you order a trailer, we can get the car information from you, and we can space out that E-Track accordingly. Now the cabinetry here, you can see your L-shaped generator compartment that's built in overhead cabinets with top hinge and now metal latches and of course your base cabinetry as well with a shelf and an AGM battery. Okay now everybody always asks us about a spare tire. Is a spare tire included with a trailer? And the answer is no it's not. It is not included. Believe us we wish it were included because everybody needs a spare tire and everybody asks us but the manufacturers don't include spare tires on their side and that trickles down to us. We don't include spare tires on the trailers. Of course we can add that as an option. Now the question remains, where do you put that spare tire? Do you throw it in the back of your truck, do you mount it in the floor in a recessed compartment, or do you mount it up on the wall? Obviously, we like it up on the wall, otherwise we wouldn't have this here. The reason is this, if you have it recessed into a compartment in the floor, and you have a blowout, and your car or motorcycles or UTVs are inside the trailer, you have to move everything out of the way to access that spare tire. That way, if it's back here, mounted up on the wall, it's easy to access, you don't have to touch anything, it's not going to fall off the wall and damage your high-end car and you can simply get to it here and change your tire. At Complete Trailers we pride ourselves on top-notch customer service. We expect you to have a completely different experience than you've had if you purchased trailers elsewhere in the past. Now if you like what you've seen today hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, follow us on social media and with two convenient locations in the United States we also offer shipping nationwide at very competitive rates.